Before 2011, Germany had around 17 operating nuclear reactors, which provided 20 gigawatts of clean electricity. 10 years later, that number has gone from 17 to that of three operating nuclear reactors. Yes, Germany shut down 14 nuclear power plants in the span of 10 years. Ultimately, this has led to higher electricity prices, increased blackouts, and dependence on gas imports from Russia. In hindsight, shutting down these nuclear reactors, which are extremely safe technologies that produce near zero greenhouse gas emissions, was a big mistake for both the people of Germany, for Europe, and for importantly, for our world's climate. I find it crazy that coal still provides around 27% of Germany's electricity, which is is 8 gigawatt. That's more than double what nuclear energy provides currently for Germany. Well, if you're new to my channel, my name is Osama Big. I have a background in nuclear engineering and on my channel, I help demystify nuclear technologies by simplifying them. I also provide educational resources like this video. Before we start, let's do a quick overview of the units that are shut down currently in Germany. Let's start with Grand Nuclear Power Plant, which is 1,289 megawatt. Brockdorf Nuclear Station, 1,307 megawatt. Gundramingen, at 2,493 megawatts. Grafen Rehinfield, 1,225 megawatts. Unterwieser at 1,230 megawatts. Philipsburg at 2,122 megawatts. Neckarwiestium Unit 1 at 805 megawatts. Isar Unit 1 at 870 megawatts. Biblis at 2,325 megawatts. Krumel at 1,260 megawatts. And lastly, Bruns Butel at 770 megawatts added all up. It's around 15,695 megawatts clean electricity. So you may ask which reactors are currently operating in Germany? Well, they are Emsland at 1,242 megawatts, ISR Unit 2 at 1,285 megawatts, and Neckarwiestium Unit 2 at 1,225 megawatts. Let's start off with the Grand Nuclear Power Plant, which is located in Northern Germany. It's a single unit pressurized water reactor at a whopping 1,289 megawatts. It's a massive PWR. It's located around 353 kilometers west of Berlin. So this single unit station in the year 2011 set a world record supplying around 400 terawatt hours of electricity since it was started in the year 1984. This is the only reactor to ever achieve this record. It also had a capacity factor of around 92% which means it has been producing electricity nonstop for 92% of the year. Now, this is also the newest reactor which was added to Germany's fleet. However, it had an early shutdown in the year 2021. So it's quite sad to hear that Germany is shutting down units that have been operating such incredible performance. Now let's jump into Borgdorf nuclear power plant. Borgdorf is a single unit, third generation German pressurized water reactor. It's located in Northern Germany, very close to Denmark. It's around 353 kilometers west of Berlin. And in terms of annual power production, Borgdorf is very unique since it has been amongst the world's top nuclear power plants named 21 times so far. It has also been amongst the top three nuclear power plants named 12 times. This plant was declared the world champion of nuclear power plants on two occasions. And although it was shut down New Year's Eve, of 2021, it still has the potential for a restart alongside many of the other units in Germany that has been shut down. So check out this power plant, it has a beautiful dome around it. And uh, yeah, incredible unit. Unfortunate that, very unfortunate to hear that it's shut down. Very, very unfortunate. Let's jump into the next power plant, which is the Gundermengen nuclear power plant. It is a three unit BWR station. So what's interesting about Gundermengen is that most power plants in across Germany are either PWRs, pressurized water reactors or a mix between BWR one unit and PWR one unit. This is three units BWRs. So unit A has an output of around 237 megawatts. And it was the very first large operating power plant in that of Germany. It came online in the year 1966. Now, subsequently, two larger units were built right next to it, which are units three and unit two, a lot larger around 1,244 megawatts and 1,249 megawatts. What's also interesting in the year 19 
1995 is that units two and three were the first large scale BWRs to use MOX fuel, which is mixed oxide fuel, basically recycled fuel from conventional nuclear reactors, which can be used in other units. So very interesting to know that these units have had use of this innovative technology. The next power plant on our list is the Gruffin Heenfield nuclear power plant, which was shut down in the year 2015. Now this is a single unit pressurized water reactor located in central Germany. It's around 460 kilometers south of Berlin. So like I said, this was another unit produces a significant amount of electricity, 1,225 megawatts that had that early shutdown. All right, so next is Uten Wieser nuclear power plant. Uten Wieser nuclear power plant is located in northern Germany near the Wieser River. It's around 450 kilometers west of Berlin. When the single unit came online in 1979, it was the largest nuclear power reactor in the world. It hosted around 193 fuel assemblies. Unfortunately, it was shut down in the year 2011 and final fuel rods were removed from its spent fuel bay in the year 2019. Its first license for decommissioning was granted in 2018. It's really unfortunate to see this large nuclear power plant be shut down right after 2011. Um, however, let's jump into the next unit. Next is the Philipsburg nuclear power plant, which is both houses a PWR, pressurized water reactor, and a BWR. Now it's a two unit station located in Southwest Germany near France and around 655 kilometers Southwest of Berlin. So unit one is a BWR that was shut down early in the year 2011. And subsequently unit two, the PWR, was shut down in 2019. The first unit was built using parts from a canceled nuclear power plant, which is called the Wheel Nuclear Station in Germany. The second unit was originally supposed to be a BWR, but plans were changed to that of deploying a PWR. The next power plant on our list is Neckarwistium. Neckarwistium Nuclear Power Station is located in South Central Germany, around 600 kilometers Southwest of Berlin. Now unit two at the site is currently operating. However, the first unit had an early shutdown in the year 2011. Now, as of 2011, conceptual plans for dismantling of unit one have been completed and quickly a formal application was filed for the decommissioning and demolishment of unit one on May 6, 2013. Next on our list is ISAR nuclear power plant. So similar to Neckarwistium, ISAR nuclear power plant still has one unit that is operating. And similarly, the second unit has been shut down. ISAR is located in southeastern Germany in lower Bavaria on the banks of the river called Isar. That's why it's called Isar. Funny. Uh, the station is located around 550 kilometers south of Berlin. Isar has two units. Like I said, one is a BWR coming at 870 megawatts. The second is a PWR, the one that's still operating at 1,285 megawatts. Although Isar 1, the BWR, had been shut down in 2011, ISAR Unit 2 is expected to continue to operate until the year 2022. And this is because ISAR is the largest and most modern reactor in Germany at the moment as it came into commercial operations in the year 1988. Okay, so next is Biblis Nuclear Power Plant. Biblis Nuclear Station is located in West Germany near France. It's around 620 kilometers south of Berlin. This nuclear station hosts two large pressurized water reactors. And these two units had licenses to operate until 2019 and 2021. However, they were both shut down in the year 2011 after the Fukushima incident. It's quite unfortunate that these reactors could have operated for an additional 10 years. However, they were shut down early. All right, so next is the Brunsbüttel nuclear power station, which is a single unit BWR boiling water reactor located in north of Germany, close to Denmark, around 300 and 68 kilometers northwest of Berlin. All right, so there you have it. Those are the 14 units in Germany and stations that were shut down after 2011. Uh, take into consideration that there were many other stations that were shut down in Germany before 2011 as well. Maybe I can cover those in another video. In the comments below, let me know what you think of these units being shut down across Germany. I think it's an unfortunate situation that the German government has imposed. However, I believe maybe in the years to come, there will be other nuclear power plants that will successfully be deployed across Germany. Let me know what you think. I uh, would love to get your thoughts on this topic, uh, but there it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, take care. Bye.